you have just created your first project. So what do you do next? Well, you need to produce the project ready for burning, uploading or saving to your hard drive. To do this, enter the production wizard by clicking on Produce. When you open the production wizard, you are given the choice of six production modes. Create a file, create a streaming file, right back to DV tape, which is covered in a separate tutorial, right back to HDV tape, create an HD camcorder file or upload to YouTube. With create a file, you can produce a DV AVI, a Windows AVI, an MPEG-1 or MPEG-2 video file. Click on Next and you're given again the option of six production modes AVI, MPEG-1, MPEG-2, DivX, Portable MPEG-4, AVC MPEG-4. Now PowerDirector 7 does not come with this DivX codec pre-installed. If the DivX icon is greyed out then you will need to install the DivX codec. Create a streaming file allows you to produce a Windows Media video, a real video or QuickTime movie file that can be streamed over the internet. Click Next and here you are given the option of WMV format, real video format and a QuickTime movie format. To view all available Windows Media formats, open the drop down box, click on an item and the description and properties of each format are shown in the information display areas. Write back to DV tape allows you to write the video production back to DV tape. Write back to HDV tape would be similar to write back to DV tape. Create an HDD camcorder file. Produce a file that can be played on a hard disk drive camcorder. In this respect, this means the JVC GZ HD series. Click Next. And here you have the option of two resolutions 1920 by 1080 i and 1440 by 1080 i The last option is to upload to YouTube where you can produce a file and upload it to YouTube where it can be shared on the internet. Click on Next and here you can log into your existing YouTube user account or create a new account. Music